A DJ, to me, you're responsible for taking people away from their problems. For however long they're with you, 10, 20, 30 minutes. I go by so many names. Elvis Freshly, Manny Glover, but most people know me as Manny Fresh. Growing up in New Orleans, my house was always filled with music. My birthday gifts were always something to do with music. I got turntables with other kids, got bikes. My dad was a street DJ, and me going to hook up his stuff late at night or whatever and break it down and see what a DJ do, and seeing my dad move a crowd and putting them in a happy place, it was something that I knew I wanted to do. I wanted to make something that would change the world. I want to make some music that 30 years later, people are still playing it, they still sing it, it still makes them feel good. There's so many people ideas of what they think success is and what they think, you know, you should do it, where you should go. So many people will say like, oh, it's all about money. Music definitely comes first. Before anything, you know, the thought process of even making the song, you shouldn't be thinking nothing but that song. Put the music first, and I think that's where the magic's gonna happen. I think it's gonna pay for itself in the end. I'm from New Orleans, I'm in New York, the mecca of hip hop. You know, and they understand me. Anytime I go somewhere and people still rock with me, that's a celebration. There's a lot of music that the younger generation missed. They getting a chance to hear it. Don't let this go away. Do not just call this the 50 years of hip hop and we don't do this again until 100 years from now. It should always be around. Somebody came before you get to know him. This is DJ Manny Fresh and we're making history. You hear me? Fresh.